How's it going everyone? This time I'm here with my latest supercharger idea. I have never seen this used as a supercharger. There might be a reason for that. I don't know. But from my research, they're good for about 5 pounds or 5 PSI. And anywhere, well depending on the size, between 30 and 300 or 500 CFM. So you should be able to get some sort of supercharging effect from them. My real reason for the interest in this is partially from the sound it makes, it's just kind of cool. Secondly, the apparent efficiency, which so far in my experience takes much less power to drive than my vein pump. Initial testing, I used this pulley and this pulley to try and hit about 7,000 RPM. However, that little motor just doesn't have the jam to pull that off, so... I switch down to this and up a little bit bigger on that one and it seems to work all right. I'll start off with the flow test and you can see we get about a 5 on my patented airflow scale. Comparatively at the similar RPM of around 3500 the vein pump pulls about a 7 on my custom flow meter scale. And just to make a note, the motor on the regenerative fan is about 6 times smaller than the one on the vein pump. Alright, now on to the pressure test. You can see here that I get a whopping nothing. And this time I'm going to do a vacuum test just to see for the fun of it what, what kind of vacuum this thing pulls. I haven't done the test yet on the vein pump but I will down the road and I'll compare those two later. Well as you can see in its current form it won't be a very effective supercharger. But before I address that let's talk about how this whole thing works in the first place. In fairly simple terms basically there's a gap on all three sides of the fins and as they rotate within the housing the air gets passed back and forth between the fins or from one fin to another and as it does this it increases in pressure and velocity until it gets to the exit. Okay so on to the pressure issue. There's a couple ways I can tackle this problem right off the hop but the first thing I think I need to do is increase the motor size. I seem to be good at picking the wrong motor size, a little bit too small for what I'm trying to do. Now it spins it alright, but I can't spin it as fast as I want to, and being a centrifugal pump of sorts, I imagine the efficiency increases as the RPM does. The other issue I'm having with deadheaded pressure is likely caused by this ring here in the middle of the two housings. See, normally I would have made this at a TPU, which would have helped it seal, but the printer I used for the TPU was down for the last, basically, the month. So I just printed one out of PETG, like the rest of the housing, and put it together. So before making any more attempts at building pressure, I'd have to fix that part. The next thing I have to worry about is the size. So my unit here is probably about a quarter of the size of any unit I've actually seen in industry. My rotor is only about 95 millimeters in diameter, where anything I've seen in industry would easily be 300 or more millimeters in diameter on just the rotor alone, let alone the housing and the whole nine yards. The reason this is an issue is, it seems to me the more times that the air gets hit by the paddles and swirls around them, the more pressure and velocity you'll build. Uh, obviously up to a point, but this being such a short channel, I think I'm losing out on a lot of the ability to make pressure. So I've been throwing a couple ideas around in my head, but essentially I need to make the housing longer, or the travel path longer. So, the easiest way to do this would be to double it up, or series them up. And that brings me to this. This is the center section of my two-stage housing that I'm currently working on. I think for now I'm going to keep the whole unit with the motor and the single stage pump just together and leave it alone because I have a couple uses for that. Essentially I've made a really good bathroom fan and I might just use it for similar purposes. I might end up making a few unmodified single stage units 
just to run as a couple different fans. I got a couple different ideas, like one, having an automated cat litter box ventilation system. And I have a few cats around here, so that might be a good idea. The other is moving hot air from my fireplace to my daughter's room, where there's not much for heat up there as it is. One of the other ideas I have for this thing is it seems to make a very good vacuum motor. So when I hooked it up to the vacuum cleaner here, she spins really good. So I'm thinking I can make some sort of attachment for it. I imagine some sort of mechanical Roomba that's connected to your vacuum cleaner. I don't know if that'd be a worthwhile endeavor, but it'd be an interesting project nonetheless. Since you've made it this far, give me a like and subscribe. And if you got any ideas for this thing, you know, toss them down in the comments. It seems to me if my videos get too long, my viewership drops off real hard. So I think I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to continue working on the two-stage setup and source a larger motor that maybe spins a little bit faster. And then I'll get back to you guys with another video. Hope you liked it. Have a good one, guys.